This is an ABC 10 News update. Hello, I'm Jim Patton with this ABC 10 News update. San Diego County is just two cases away from falling into the state's most restrictive tier. If the county falls into that purple tier, regulations will be put in place, including closures. Public Health Officer Dr. Wilma Wooten says there isn't a specific event or outbreak leading to the high case rate and is urging San Diegans not to let their guard down. The county is looking ahead to Election Day, asking people to mail in their ballots. But they are also reassuring voters that if they vote in person, it is safe to do so if they follow the health guidelines. County leaders urging San Diegans to get a flu shot, something they say is especially important during this pandemic. In a press conference today, leaders also speaking about free flu vaccine clinics being offered by the county through early November. The CDC recommends that everyone six months and older get a flu shot each year. A new Children's Museum downtown unveiling a new mural on the windows of the Innovators Lab. Artist Regan Russell worked on the mural. The colors and patterns create a changing wave of colors as the sun moves. The museum is still closed because of the pandemic, but you can still enjoy the beautiful colors from the outside. And speaking of going outside, let's <laughs> ask uh, Vanessa how that's all shaping up. Ah, cool, cloudy and calm conditions, Jim, for your Thursday morning. We are waking up to a low clouds from Cardiff all the way to the Alpine area as we give you a live look right now where you live. Uh, today's highs, though, once we see a lot of these clouds mix out, we'll top out in the lower 70s along the coast, mid 70s inland. And the chance of rain is more likely for your Sunday evening into Monday morning. So there you go if you want to plan ahead. Coastal day seven day, we will dip down to the 70s, slowly creep into the 60s along the coast, and then rise back up to the 70s when high pressure makes a return. We'll top out in the mid 70s through those inland neighborhoods and overnight lows will stick in the mid to upper 50s uh, towards your weekend. Jim. Vanessa, thank you very much. And for the latest news, weather and traffic, go to 10news.com or download our free 10 News app in your app store. For ABC 10 News, I'm Jim Patton.